Hi, in this lesson, we're going to be learning about the home screen. First, I'm going to begin by telling you what each function does, and then I'm going to give you the order in which you should process mail. We're going to start by, on here on the top left, uh, you have two choices here. You have adverts and text. Okay? Now, if you wanted to see your adverts, you just click on adverts and click on choose adverts and then you would get the list of adverts here all right now if you want to choose a text message you can that's how you choose your adverts if you want to choose a text message you just click on text message click on choose SMS text and then pick your text message see now this does the same thing as this same thing Okay. Now, if you wanted, if you didn't want any text messages, if you didn't want any uh, adverts, you just click on the X here and it removes it, and then it won't print. Okay. Now, over here, this is where you calculate postage. This is postage value. If you click on it, it gives you a choice for product calculation. In this case, I'm going to choose first class. I'm going to choose next, parcels, next, it changes my amount, and then I just say OK, and then it will transfer that amount over here. Down here is the weight. Um, you could either put something on the scale of the post base, it will calculate it, or you can click on it and manipulate the weight and hit the green check mark and it will go ahead and leave it at that okay now down here is your differential weighing option if it has an X going through it that means it's turned off if you click on it and it has no X on there that means you turned it on okay here is another way you can calculate postage which is basically the same thing as this there's two different ways that you can get to the same menu to calculate postage. Now let's move over here on this side by the date. If you didn't want a date, you can check this and no date will print. If you wanted a date, you check it again, make sure there's a check mark, you click on the date and then you can choose your date and it would change it. It will advance it, but it will not go backwards. Notice how all this is uh, blank. That's because it's legal to go backwards. All right. Now down here is where you select your accounts to keep accountability of the different departments. All right. Now let's move down to this section right here. These three right here, these are your shortcuts. You see how I'm changing them? and how it changes up here. Now, let me just stop here for a second and explain a little, a little something. Uh, right here is one way to calculate postage. Here is another way to calculate postage. And these three are also a different way to calculate postage. The only difference between these, uh, these two again, uh, versus these three right here is that these are save memories and this is where you get to choose a class of mail. Here, you already have a class of mail set. All right. Now, if you choose this additional shortcut here, this is just the different ones that you have uh, a choice for as a shortcut. They won't appear here because you only have the three that will be able to show up at one time. Here where it says start label a feeder, uh, this is where you would choose the amount of labels that you wanted to print. You can manipulate by going up or down on this arrow. Let's say you wanted to do two, you just hit the green check mark, you confirm it, and then you hit start. We're not going to do it right now though. Okay. Now that we have gone through all the functions on the home screen, we're going to talk about the order in which you should process mail. Okay, I'm going to have you guys write it down first and then we'll go through them. Number one is you should pick your account first. Number one, pick your account. Number two is pick your class of mail. 
Number three, if you choose to add a advert or a text message, you can do that. Number four, make sure that you choose your date or take off the date. And then you can begin printing. Now, like I said, number one, you pick your account. Very important. You always want to make sure that you're printing postage under the right account so that it can keep track of the department's postage that's being spent. Okay? Number two, pick your class of mail. Like I said, you can do this three ways. You can either click on that, pick your class of mail. This will take you to the same menu down here, or you can use a shortcut. All right? Number three, you can either pick an ad or a tax. All right? Number four, you go ahead and choose your date. All right? And finally, you can just print postage. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what this looks like. I'm putting an envelope through the post space so you can see how that looks. I'm doing one, two, three. All right. Why don't you guys go ahead and give this, give this a try? Thank you.